guys welcome back to my channel my name is Halima if you're new to my channel welcome if you're newly subscribed welcome so today I've decided to um, create something that I've not actually done before which is a smoky eye shadow and uh, specifically for you guys it's gonna be a beginner friendly tutorial so let's all let together okay so without any further ado let's get on with this look so first of all guys what I'm going to be doing before I've already done the eyebrow I've got that out of the way because this this video is mainly for um smoky eye shadow see lots of bits around my eyelid and then we go on with the look okay so here as well And I'm just taking this brush which I use for my eyebrow before to blend in everything. So I'm using this brush and just to blend the concealer around the eyelid in order to um, start putting my eyeshadow on. So the transition color is for my Sephora palette and um, <laughs> it just got closed up. It's going to be for my Sephora palette and it's going to be this brown here, this one, yeah, that's what I'm going to be using as a transition color. Um, so yeah, just put a bit on that lid. Okay guys, so that is done. Now I'm gonna go in with the colors that I'm gonna use for the smoky eye shadow. Okay, so those, those are the colors. So I'm using my Sephora palette, it's a massive one. So it's gonna be those two colors down here, that navy and then the black one, those two colors. Those are the what I use those two colors to create that smoky, sexy, bold looking eyeshadow okay are you guys ready for that let's crack on so so first of all I am going to take a bit of the navy blue okay and I am just going to part that on gently okay just gonna part it on just gently doing it not rushing I really cannot wait for this final look of this smoky eyeshadow. I think it's gonna be so beautiful, guys. It's my first time doing this smoky eyeshadow on on YouTube, so it's gonna be interesting, actually. It's gonna be very interesting. Looking forward to that final look. And then I'll move on to this side. The reason why I'm using a like a lighter blue is because I want just a good pigmentation, a good reflection of um, the black. You know, I want a good transition. And I believe mixing two colours will give me that exact look that I'm looking for okay so I have managed to don't worry about this um, you know residue I'm gonna clear all that I'm happy with this so far I'm now going to go ahead with the actual the black color I'm gonna now start putting the dark color on Thank you. 
So far this dog <laughs> looks like somebody who's been attacked. <laughs> oh my god, I look funny. But nevertheless, all this is gonna be change and you gotta you guys gonna see a different person. Okay, so let's get rid of this because I look a bit funny actually. <laughs> I've now put all the eyeshadow on both eye and I'm now going to use this brush to just do um you know get rid of any harsh line at the top so everything look seamless okay so start from here so I'm just basically trying to you know soften the edges because you don't want any harsh line when you're creating that smoky eyeshadow you just want everything to be, be well blending and look seamless just blending. It's already. It's very bold. Very smoky. <laughs> Do you guys like what you see so far? You like it? It's looking very nice. I like it so far. Yeah. Definitely. Right. Okay. So now I am going to now carry on with the rest of the look. Okay, we're gonna do the foundation, we're gonna do the lashes, and we're gonna do anything and everything that comes with the glamness of the beauty of this smoky eyeshadow. Okay guys, the lashes that I'm wearing today is a lashes from this company called Glamit. Okay, I'll bring it closer to you guys to see it. This company they do a magnetic um lashes so it's from glam beauty they send me this to try okay magnetic lashes that you basically have a eyeliner that you draw the eyeliner and then once you draw it you put the lashes and automatically just stick by itself so it's really super easy for people who struggle with um, putting false lashes on these lashes it's definitely it comes in three sets so it came like that and it, it's basically have everything that you need so i'll show you guys so this is the the eyeliner and then the three sets and then it's come large um i think medium and then small and then obviously you've got your the lash um teaser up there to help you to put the lashes on and these lashes are so gorgeous oh my god they're beautiful i love them it was super so super easy to put them on and i'm gonna leave the info in the description box below look around if you like what you see so far don't forget to hit the subscribe button like comments and then let's get on with the look okay so the primer that i'm using today is the face studio primer by maybelline I've already cleaned my skin today um, so so now I've put my base on so the foundation that I'm going to be using today is Fainting Beauty okay beauty blend that I'm using from is Echo Tools so I'm just gonna slightly wet it And I am going to squirt a bit on my forehead of the foundation. And I'm going to blend that in nice and gentle. foundation is on nicely 
it's all blending beautifully I'm not gonna go in with my concealer from max factor so I'm just gonna go with um, that on just a little bit just gonna do the concealer now and do you know put the highlight and contour and then um, come close to the end of the just going to use the same beauty blender to blend it in Now I am going to do the contour now, okay? So the contour that I'm using today is Maybelline Superstay Contour. I'm taking this brush and I'm just going to put a bit at the top of my forehead to mimic my fore, you know, the forehead because I've got a big head. <laughs> and I'm just going to place some around here and some around here too. And Right here, my lips. So I'm going to use the same beauty blender to blend that in. Start from the top first. Taking my Real Techniques brush to brush this part in nicely. Got to do this seamless because you don't want any hash line. Okay guys, so how am I looking? Am I looking pretty? So pretty! Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> guys, the bake that I'm going to be using is my Pure Bake, okay, by Makeup Obsession. So I'll bring it closer to you guys. I'm going to use my Echo Tool, diamond shape, you know, specifically for, um, you know, baking because it gets right, right into the specific places that you need okay so I'm going to just dump a bit inside my bake and and going in straight to where I want it to be okay and then here Some 
I love this Akoto diamond shape beauty blender love the, the dimension of it because it's got a different edge ply makeup oops oops oopsie daisy it's really good especially if you're going around corners that especially when you've done your eyeshadow and all that stuff and you know you don't want the my nose And the brush I'm going to use is Real Techniques brush. I'm just going to gently buff all that away, nice and gentle, and here as well. So guys, I finished with the contour and highlight and so now I am going to go in with my Fit Me by Maybelline face powder. So I'm just going to buff a little bit, a little bit of that in there. So the colour of this is um, 332 Golden Caramel. So just a bit of that to my face. So the bronze that I'm going to be using today is by Revolution Glow, my favourite bronzer, oh my god, and this is a medium colour. Okay, so I'm going to take a bit of this and I'm going to use a detail brush to do it, just a bit of it, not much. Because this is very, very concentrated, so you've got to be very careful when you're using this bronzer. Honestly, you don't want it to ruin your makeup, it's so concentrated, guys very very concentrated a little, a little bit go a long way and this is a kilowatts and that's the color of it I'm going to use this buffing brush to get it on. So it's along somewhere around here. We do. So nice. So I'm just using it as a highlighter as well. Cleon lip liner by the body shop so that's what I'm using so guys I have done my lips I've lining it up with my lip liner and now I am going to go in with my lipstick from Penery it's like a I think it's um, Penery professional I think they like um, how would you call them? I think they're based in either Romania or one of those countries and um, they're based um, it's a very nice colour it's like a nude kind of um, cream matte lipstick so I'm just going to put a bit of that on
and guys I am going to put my um, finishing spray by MAC okay So guys, this is my final look of my bold date night look. It's very subtle, very smooth, very sleek. So thank you guys so much for sticking around to watch the rest of the video. If you like what you see so far, kindly hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification button so you get regular date for me each time I upload new videos. And like and comment and share my videos among your friends, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, see you guys next week. Bye.